Before... <laughs> Hi guys, it's Matt. Hey, how's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing fabulous. I'm back with another video uh, and this time around I'm going to be reviewing a very special smartwatch. Uh, this is the first smartwatch with an all ceramic body and watch case. The Huawei Watch GT3 Pro Ceramic Edition. Huawei is not affiliated with me so this, they didn't pay me to do this video. I'm just doing this video because I like the watch so I thought I might as well do a video about it. Before I discuss what I like about the watch, what I don't like about the watch and whether you should buy the watch or not, uh, let's just talk about the specifications of, what, of the watch first. Uh, just quickly, the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro uh, comes in two versions, the Ceramic Edition and the Titanium Edition. The Titanium Edition is 45 millimeters, whereas the Ceramic Edition is 43 millimeters. The Ceramic Edition, which I'm gonna be reviewing, is basically essentially the same watch from a features point of view, and even uh, from a specifications point of view as well. However, it has the, it is the first ever smartwatch uh, with an all ceramic body. So you can get in, even the ceramic option, you can get in two different versions, so you get the, all ceramic version which I'm, I'm reviewing today which has a ceramic watch case as well as ceramic strap uh, but you can also get it in a, a, with, a, with a leather strap as opposed to the ceramic strap. The ceramic watch with a leather strap costs 430 pounds I believe in the UK or it will cost 430 pounds in the UK when it will be released which is roughly 535 dollars I, I believe so However, I don't think it's actually gonna be released in the US because of the things we all know about. Um, and the all ceramic version is 500, 500 pounds, uh, which again roughly translates to $625 as far as I'm concerned. So not the cheapest watch. The weight of the watch varies between the two models because the ceramic, uh, you know, full ceramic version is way heavier than the one with the leather strap. The actual watch case is 50 grams, which is the same for both versions. However, with the all ceramic version, the watch strap is pretty heavy because it's, again, it's ceramic. It's an, another 59 grams, so the overall weight of the watch is 109 grams, which is pretty heavy uh, for a smartwatch, uh, let alone, you know, for a performance variable. Uh, however, it's not a performance variable, but I'm gonna get to that in a bit. As I was explained in Milan on the briefing, it takes over 15 hours to bake the, the watch case and the strap in a very, very hot oven. The result of that is actually a, a surprisingly smooth nano crystalline ceramic, you know, material, which is very, very nice to wear. Uh, and then the watch also has a sapphire glass you know, lens on the on the top of the digital display, which is a 1.32 inch uh, AMOLED display uh, with a resolution of 466 pixels times 466 pixels. The watch also features the new Huawei TrueScene 5.0 Plus heart rate monitor, sorry, heart rate sensor, uh, with under this 2.5D glass, which is like a slightly curved glass, so it, in theory it sits close to the skin, no matter how the watch sits on your wrist, uh, for better better readings. As well as that, the, the Huawei Watch GT3 Pro, which is this one here, uh, also features a, a multi-band, uh, sorry, a dual-band multi-GNS S uh, global positioning system, so it has the same, same um, uh, accuracy, in theory, as the Garmin Phoenix 7X, uh, which is pretty accurate, uh, and indeed uh, the GPS being picked up pretty quickly on this one. So let's talk about thing that you know the seven things that I like about this watch. The first being that this is seriously the most comfortable watch I ever worn. Uh, I obviously wear watches all the time uh, because I need to test uh, you know a lot of watches, and I tried a lot of different straps. I tried a lot of different watch cases. Uh, they all fine. None of them really bothers me anymore. However. The, the ceramic material of this watch, despite the weight, it just feels like it never overheats. My skin doesn't get irritated under the watch. I was so surprised. The second thing I, I liked is the, is the screen or the display, more like the, the, the digital display, which is, which is super bright, very easy to read. This is a super, super pretty watch face. Again, very clear display, 466 times 466 pixels, uh, AMOLED display. I mean, I never struggled to read, the, read whatever is going on in the watch. That said, 
in sport mode when you track runs and stuff uh, the the actual metrics like the the data fields are uh, the the numbers and the data fields are ever so slightly small for my taste and then talking about data fields the the third thing that i really like about the watch is the presence of the ai running coach which was something that again was introduced in the gt3 so you can find the ai running coach on this watch as well which is i think it's a really nice feature it's very good for for people who don't like actually what looking at the watch again coming back on the data fields being too small situation because the ai running coach has a so the watch has a microphone and has a as a full blown speaker so it actually tells you pacing information uh, and you know stuff about your heart rate the watch is going to tell you if you you know have to slow down or you have to speed up a bit or your heart rate is in the wrong zone i think it's pretty handy for it's like more like an accessibility feature in my head the fourth thing that i like about the watch is the battery life uh, it has a seven day battery life whoever has this thing that they don't actually tell you the the gps battery life or the smartwatch battery life it's just going to tell you you know normal use is seven days uh, whatever it is i mean i find that i don't have to charge the watch more than once a week you're not talking about like intense gps usage if you if you start using it more for gps uh, gps tracking you know more for runs and cycles and stuff uh, the battery life will decrease significantly however there is a quick charge feature uh, on the watch so if you put it on the charge for 10 minutes it gives you 24 hours worth of battery life which is great again you can just take it off for 10 minutes you know brush your teeth uh, you know sort yourself out put it back on 10 minutes job done and then you have another day's worth of battery life which is really nice i think again the next step would be to start introducing solar on these variables as well but again let's just not get ahead of ourselves it's, it's still a very good battery life for a, a watch with such a bright amoled screen apple watch please take note the fifth thing i like about the watch is it has a fast processor the thing with the thing with touchscreen watches if if they haven't got a fast enough processor they the you know some of the transitions like can be pretty slow and laggy uh, i never experienced any of this on this watch the screen transition are super fast uh, the apps load very quickly uh, post run uh, you know summaries are generated super quickly you know for what i use this for i never had any issues with the processor it's great super fast you know top notch well done the sixth thing that i like about this watch is the the true scene 5.0 plus heart rate sensor as i mentioned at the beginning i was really happy with the performance of the of the gt3 which features the previous generation of this heart rate sensor and it's been slightly improved the later generation of the uh, true scene heart rate sensor filters out noisy signals this is not a performance running watch uh, as such a multi-sport watch again you've got these features on the watch so you could use it for you know performance tracking and again you've got the ai running coach as well it is not impossible to use the watch for you know for running training however again based on the premiumness of the watch i would not recommend it as a running watch as such just because it's just like too pretty to be worn as a as a, you know as a performance variable and i think it's nice that you can use the watch not just as a smartwatch just as like an everyday fitness tracker but as a as a full-on you know training tool as well if you wanted to so that was the sixth thing that i like about the watch uh, last but not least is the is the gps i measured the uh, gps performance against the the phoenix 7x which i have and i found that the gps of the 7x is super accurate so i, I tend to use uh tend to use it as a benchmark uh, gps for for when i go out for a run or a cycle and the the readings from the gt3 pro were on, on par with the the readings from the 7x and again that's something that i noticed in the previous iteration of the watch the gt3 the, i would recommend getting the uh, the full ceramic version because the one with the leather strap that was one of the one of the, my biggest issues with the gt3 because i tried it with the leather strap and it wasn't particularly great to use the wa watch with the leather strap for performance training because the, the leather strap you know when you sweat obviously it's not going to look very pretty and if you want to wear a watch for you know with your suit as well as your you know running shorts uh, that's not gonna look great when you wear a suit to have a you know a sweaty uh, leather band uh, wrap, wrapped around your wrist really uh, but other than that you can you can definitely use it for for whatever you want to use it for so that was the seven things that i like about the watch let's talk about the five things i don't really like about the watch the first one is is the weight of the watch as i mentioned it's 109 grams which is pretty heavy it's definitely something that you can feel on your wrist i'm talking about the all ceramic edition which has the ceramic strap if you want to use it for 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 health tracking and not just as a pretty watch you want to make sure it sits more or less okay on your wrist and again because of the construction it will only sit so close to your skin again i had haven't had any issues i was i was quite lucky that 
as it came out of the box, the, the fit was perfect for my wrist. The weight is something that you have to take into consideration. So that was the first thing I don't like necessarily about the watch. The other thing obviously is 500 pounds. The, the, the old ceramic edition is a 500 pound watch. It's not a cheap watch. I always think about if I had 500 pounds to, to spend on a, on, a, on a wearable, would I buy this watch? And I would probably not buy this watch, but buy a, you know, a Garmin Forerunner uh, 255 or I would buy a Polar Pacer Pro and get like a heart rate monitor and it would still be cheaper than buying this watch. Again, I completely appreciate that this is a premium watch and, and for that it's not an expensive price. Uh, but again, it's 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 on a, on a pricey side of things. You know, that was the second thing that I don't like about the watch particularly. Uh, the third thing that I don't necessarily like about the watch is, it's not how it looks, but how how people who don't know that this is a this is a ceramic watch could think that this is a plastic watch because the, because the ceramic especially in the pictures uh, and even even when you look at it and it's not on your wrist and you can't feel the weight it it kind of looks like a plastic watch you basically have to take the watch off and give it to people so they can actually feel the ceramicness of the watch and then the first thing that they say oh this is quite heavy as i mentioned before obviously the watch is quite heavy but i guess the heft it gives a, a, a sense of premiumness, you know, to the watch as well, because it's like, you know, if it was plastic, it wouldn't be quite as heavy as this one. I guess the two things go, you know, hand in hand. The the fourth thing that I don't like about the watch, and it kind of comes back to, you know, the, the dress watch nature of the watch, that is, is the trim. So it comes with like two trims, uh, and none of them look, uh, I don't know, like adding this kind of metallic trim to, to watches. I mean, I don't, I don't know why anyone would think that this looks this adds to the premium look of the watch. It's just look a bit, it, it looks a bit tacky, you know, if you ask me. I would rather it be all white. Again, it could just be my taste. The fifth and last thing I don't like about the watch is the wasted potential, essentially. So there are a few features on the watch, such as the ECG or the arterial stiffness measurement that is not available in the UK and the EU just yet because they haven't been approved. The watch is being advertised that these features are actually on the watch and they, they are available on the watch, but until they are approved, uh, they're not going to be activated so you get a watch that is you know has features that you can't have access to uh, i think it's it's a bit it's a bit of a shame even worse is that you don't actually know when they're going to be approved i wish i could you know i could measure arterial stiffness and all that stuff because i would be interested to see how my arteries are you know without having to actually stick a needle in my arm but but i can't because it's, it's just not available at the moment uh, in the uk i think there's just one thing that i haven't mentioned whether you should buy the watch or not uh, i think of the two versions i would recommend the all ceramic version because the the one with the leather strap is it's always cheaper you do you do lose out on the on the comfort level so the leather strap is always going to be a bit more warmer you know uh, whereas the cer ceramic one the all ceramic strap and all ceramic watch version is always going to be a bit more comfortable in my opinion because of the whole the nature of the you know of the ceramic material and again it's a bit more expensive but i think it's it's worth the extra price uh, whether you should buy the watch in general if you if you like if you like a, a pretty smart watch with a good battery life and a, a nice screen that has good performance features as well this is a very good option i completely appreciate it's not a cheap watch in my mind it is worth the price that was it for today guys Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like. It means a lot to me. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing because there's a lot more of these videos coming very, very soon. Uh, I do have more roundups coming. I do have more reviews coming uh, and other features as well, should you be interested. Uh, again, thank you for watching, guys. Have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.